You're in a movie theater. You're at the park. You're at a basketball game. You see a large group of fellas and their lovely ladies. They are misbehaving. You point out the error of their ways. You're a regular old white guy. You tell the fellas to knock it off. What happens? I have a group of friends in town from Colorado to celebrate a birthday. Say their trip turned into a nightmare when a group of teens attacked them. Amanda Roberts spoke to one of the tourists. She joins us now with the story. Gabrielle Lee says she and her friends were enjoying their time Saturday at the Chewbacca's Parade and around town when a group of teenagers attacked them, putting her longtime boyfriend, Mark Whitaker Allen, in the hospital. They've all returned home to Colorado now, and Allen is recovering from facial and brain injuries after uh, he sustained after the fight. Lee says it all started because some teens were harassing a homeless woman when one of their friends stepped in to stop the verbal attacks. And that's when she says things escalated. More teens poor out of a nearby party bus surrounding the group near St. Charles and Canal Street. She says Alan tried to pull his friends away from the teens to de-escalate the situation when he was punched in the side of the head, falling to the ground unconscious. He wasn't awake and I knew not to move him. Um, and once I saw him start moving and trying to move his head, I rolled him over and his teeth and blood were all over my hands um but luckily he was awake happening right now the search for the people who attacked a group of tourists in the heart of new orleans one of those tourists beaten so badly he had to go to the hospital good evening i'm katie moore and i'm ton trung the visitors to our city say they were good samaritans trying to protect the homeless woman Danny Monteverdi was able to talk with that victim despite his injuries he's live along canal street where that attack happened. Danny? Good evening, Ton. As the uh, police continue to chase down leads in this case, the victim of that brutal uh, attack is now preparing for his um, next visit to the hospital after the sudden and violent attack. Whit Allen and his friends were living it up in New Orleans this past weekend to celebrate his 30th birthday. They spent time drinking hurricanes at Pat O's and took in the sights of Carnival as Chewbacca rolled through the Marigny. But the fun came to a sudden and violent end early Sunday morning on Canal Street. And when I fell into the concrete, the, all the teeth got pushed up into my face. The trouble began when Alan and his friends came across a party bus near Canal in St. Charles. The kids in the back of the bus were screaming at this, this homeless lady that was like sitting on, on the sidewalk. One of his friends tried to step in and stop it. Next thing I know is that... All these kids, like all these guys from the bus start popping out of the bus like one by one. Whit Allen and his friends say they were walking in this part of Canal Street when the attack happened and they say it happened just like that. Like maybe three seconds is all that it took. Someone in the group, which Allen and his friends say was about 20 guys, threw punches. Allen and one of his friends were hit. Allen was knocked out. Well, I was bleeding everywhere. Uh, there was blood, you know, just all down my shirt. Allen was rushed to University Medical Center where doctors treated him for a broken jaw and fractures to his face. I pretty much lost the, like the floor center of my teeth. And then obviously this was like a hole completely through my lip. And I had this big hole in my chin. And then there are stitches on the inside of my lip. So, yeah, it was kind of extensive. He's back home in Denver now, but he still has months of doctors and dentist visits ahead of him. And they're going to have to do a bone graft. And they're going to have to let that heal for probably about uh, nine months at least. And then uh, they'll be able to do implants um, so I can have teeth again. And sadly, he says he probably won't be so quick to try to help someone else in need again. In Denver, if I had saw someone screaming at a bunch of homeless people, I definitely would have gotten up there and said something like, knock it off. But I'm, uh, I'm going to think about that twice next time. Well, that's what happened. That's what happens. Please, sir. I want some more. Fellows are not into getting disrespected by a bunch of white people whom they don't even like anyway. Could have been New Orleans, could have been Chicago, Baltimore, Washington, Philly, Camden, St. Louis, Kansas City, a thousand other places. That is how it is. Notice how on this video there's nobody saying, wow, we've never really seen anything like that around here before. The fellas attacking tourists. Yeah. The fellas attack tourists all the time. Usually it's because a tourist maybe wanders off a block out of the highly, highly controlled French Quarter area, 
or maybe somebody says, hey, let's go where the real people are over there. So there's a lot of ways to get into trouble in New Orleans, telling the fellas and lovely ladies how to behave is just one of them, because that is absolutely guaranteed to make the black kids angry.